Okay students, today we are going to learn about active and passive. In this video, we are going to learn how to make active to passive. So first rule of making active to passive is change of the subject and object. So the position of subject and object change. Subject goes to object position and object goes to subject position. Uh, so it has been written here. Subject goes to object and object goes to subject uh, let us see the example so here is a, a sentence ram eats rice so here ram is subject and rice is object so what is the condition of the air when they are made into the passive so let us see here rice is eaten by ram so we can see here it has been seen like this ram was in the um, subject position now it is in the object position and rice was in the object position but it is in the subject position so in this way we reverse subject and object while and the rule of uh, active to passive is um, change of the pronoun in subject and object so when we use, we use different pronouns in english first person second person and third person so this first person second person and third person pronouns when they change the position of the subject or object when they are in subject their, their position is they, we use different and when we they are in the object we use different so what is the position of them when they are in the subject and when they are in the object that we are going to learn so at first subject and object what is in the subject and what becomes to object or what is in object and what becomes to subject that we are going to learn so if we have I in the subject, then it becomes me in the object. In the same way, reversely, we have to know if there is me in the object, then it would be I when it goes to subject. Uh, in the same way, we and us, uh, he and him, she and her, they and them, it and it becomes it to it, same. Again, there is you, then it again it becomes you in the object position. Okay. And now we are going to learn the third thing about uh, changing active to passive that is the verb of passive is always past participle that is what we say verb three in our asian countries mainly uh, but in english countries they say past participle but we are habituated to say verb three uh, so the past participle form or the third form of the verb is used uh, in the passive this is mandatory this is compulsory in english okay now let us see example she is reading a book so in she is reading a book uh, this is a sentence so uh, reading is the verb for here we see in this in this sen sentence we see reading is the verb for, verb for or the progressive form of the verb so how it uh, ing from how it will change into passive so when we make it passive then a book is read by her so her, her it has been changed she to her as our in previous example in the same way verb has been changed read and reading has been changed into read 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 so book is being read by her so how being comes that we are going to learn in the in this video or in another rule uh, in the same way uh, he reads a story book so here is verb 5 or we say verb singular singular verb is here it uh, it is it will also change into uh, past participle a story book is read by him so this uh, this reads has been changed in here into read similarly she plays football we find here verb singular so or uh, the verb 5 that also change into verb 3 uh, or the past participle that is the football is played by her okay now we are going to learn the another rule that is the use of by to under etc before the object of passive so what has been written here let us see we generally uh, join the passive object with by sometimes we use other words instead of by to or marry under with body like that okay so generally we use by to join the uh, let us see example it will be more easier to us generally whenever 
uh, ram ram eats rice then rice is eaten by ram like that so but uh, in so in general case we use bite but in some cases with some words we use other words instead of by that is true or sometime with or sometime uh, under such things we use so ram married sita so we do not and how it will be in the passive uh, sita was married to ram right so uh, sita was married to ram so not um, <coughs> not um, uh, sita was married by ram is not possible married to ram uh, why because uh, we use to instead of by in after the verb marry similarly uh, we can see another example this earth buries lots of treasure so lots of treasure is buried under the earth not by the earth so after body we use the under in the same way we use uh, with especially with the instrument so he writes uh, he writes uh, for example uh, let me tell you what to say um, open writes letters so letters are written with pen not by pen right so when the instrument form as a subject then we use with instead of by similarly when the verb marry a comes a we use to similarly when there is body comes then we use under so these are exceptional case but in general case we use by okay let us see the remove of passive object and another the important thing is we often do not write the passive uh, so uh, in, in passive the subject of the active so act subject of the active may not be in the passive we may we may have to remove it uh, so what is the condition uh, let us see why we have to remove this uh, if the verb clears the object so if our verb clears the object who, who is the object then it is not necessary to be written by plus as in uh, so the teacher is teaching students so students is the object here and the teacher is the subject here right so students comes here and uh, our students are being taught but uh, why not by teachers why by teacher is has not been used here it means uh, teaching uh, taught students are being taught when we say taught taught is uh, this teaching teaching thing is is surely by the teacher not by the other like farmers or the driver so certainly it will be by the teachers who teach he, he or she is generally called teacher so by verb it is clear obvious that is why we do not mention by teacher similarly farmers are planting paddy paddy is being planted by farmers is not necessary to say when we say uh, paddy planting then certainly there will be farmer so doctors checked patients when we say then patients were checked by doctor is not necessary to say so we remove these things one thing is if the verb clears the object then we do not mention the object in the passive okay similarly let us say another condition where we do not use uh, the subject of active into passive that is unclear object right if unclear object we have in so they whenever whenever we say they so who is the they how many person to whom they is said so we do not make by them right uh, similarly you in the question sentence so if you use so about the you if you have a statement sentence then certainly we we write by you but in question sentence we do not write you so if the question is asked question was asked to one person or many person it is impossible to say that is why so we do not write by you in question sentence similarly if our subject is with some any no every plus body or one it means somebody someone anybody anyone nobody no one so if they they are the subject so because they are big they are not clear so so it can be also understood another way if if our uh, subject of the passive is not clear who is this if it is vague it is unclear that cannot determine how many person who is the person so in this case we do not uh, put them into the passive object okay let us see example someone somebody stole my cell phone so somebody stole my cell phone when we say so who is somebody to to steal the cell phone that somebody may be the anyone in this earth that is why uh, it is not possible to de to demarcate that is why uh, it has been 
uh, removed here see uh, my cell phone uh, was stolen uh, but by somebody has been removed no necessary to write and we do not write similarly they gave her a punch and who gave her a punch so they means who how many person two person or the one million person or ten person this is not clear that is why they is not made by them okay <coughs> so now we are going to learn about the tense sense of active to passive so whenever we are having tense sense so in tense sense uh, generally uh, students and teacher they try to remember a simple present to uh, simple past present continuous to uh, present um, no, so what is called past continuous and present perfect to past perfect uh, like that they they try to understand so but we have to understand in quite another way which makes our job easy and which makes the teachers job and even students job very easy and students can also uh, clearly understand that what is that is at first we should know about this beb -E right that we use beb -E so this b has uh, different forms as we know that our uh, our verbs has five forms like verb first verb one verb two verb three verb four verb five we use in this way but this beb -E has the six form so one is b and its verb five is each and r and m both are used instead of verb one was and where as verb two being as verb four and being as verb three as past participle this being is verb four that is uh, progressive and was and where that is past and is mr uh, is mr they are present right so they are used so uh, active and whenever we are making passive there is no new thing uh, uh, we uh, sometimes make our students a more burden of reciting the long structures uh, sometimes structure of the structure in the simple present tense again the same um, structure in the simple past what is it and how to change like that. so this is not the case so the the matter of passive is just the matter of b verb so only the b verb is is changed here so because of the b verb so one thing is mandatory as we learned in our previous rule in this video is that the verbs must be verb third or the past participle in passive that is why when we have to make verb past participle we we have to change something so we have to change something how to change we generally do not change its tense or like that right so what we have to change is we just change the verb not the tense so we we should we should remove the concept of concept that there there is a tense change so we have to change the tense and tense change make a great thing uh, like that uh, we should not think uh, so this is the case of simply the simply the verb right this is the case of the b e r b verb with b right so this is the case of the verb so how the they, they are changed let us see here uh, we are going to see, study a, a table here so what has been written here so if we have first verb or the fifth verse or verb one that is also called plural verb and this is singular verb or verb one or verb five then we use is m r uh, among of them one and verb three so this verb one or verb, verb one or verb five both of them will change into the verb three so verb three is mandatory in any of any of the tense any of the state of the verb that is why so so we see here each right we see here is 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 is, 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 is verb five so if we have verb five then certainly there will be is right Similarly, if there is verb one, it will be either M or R. So in this way, it will be changed, right? So he eats rice. So so here rice comes here as an object, and rice is eaten by them. Among of them, so is M R is either verb one or verb five. So uh, so this is the case. Similarly, uh, another verb two. If we have verb two, right? So verb two means was or where, right? So was or where. So the same B is repeated here. B verb plus verb three. So is a verb one or verb five has been changed into verb three. So uh, so B has been added here. Is M R right? 
bob one for bob one is and bob for bob uh, what is say let us see here let me make you clear each bob five so here is bob five that is why here is each right similarly r and m both are used instead of bob five according to the subject that is why he, so here is bob five elective so here are m and r are used here similarly when we find bob two in our sentence bob two means was or where according to subject if singular was if plural were so there is was or where among of the uh, out of them one and the bob automatically change into bob three that is compulsory similarly let us see another rule uh, Sita bought a pen, so a pen was bought by Sita. So in the in that way it was in say. Is M R plus Bob right? So is M R is here. Is M R the same thing? So it has to be made Bob right? It has sorry. It has to be this. There is Bob four. So it should be changed Bob three. So we have learned the rule. Uh, Bob three is mandatory. Bob Bob three is compulsory in passive. That is why how to make is Bob three. So what? Uh, so here is Bob four. So here is Bob four. So what is the what is the Bob four of B? What is the Bob four of B? That is being. That is why that is why being is added here, right? So being is added here. So the active and passive is just the case of B B Bob, right? Not more than that. In the same way, was where plus Bob four. So was where is here? Was where? So what is the Bob four of B? So being. That is why being is is here. Was where plus being plus Bob three. In the same way, you can see has or have or had plus Bob three. So so here is Bob three. Instead of has, there is have, there is has. Here is has again had and had. It will be there. Either this is present or past according to there will be. So but what is and here is Bob three, right? So you can see here. Here is Bob three. Here is Bob three. So what is the Bob three of B? Bob three of B is been. So has or have or had the same thing. Here is Bob three. So Bob Bob third of this B is been and Bob three. This is the Bob three of our passive. It is compulsory. In the same way, uh, another rule. Let us see here. Auxiliary plus two plus Bob one. Or is for example is two plus Bob one R two M two as was two where two has to have to anyone maybe. So auxiliary plus two plus Bob one is here. So if we have Bob one. Uh, let me tell you one thing. So, if you find anywhere Bob one, only two plus Bob one, or just Bob one, then you have to use uh, two before it. So, if you have two plus Bob one, then you have to use two B, right? So, B. Why B is used here, not was? Because after two, Bob one is used. So, Bob yeah, Bob one has already been used here. So, this this is a zero form. B is the zero form. So, in such case, we use. Uh, such case we use here B. Similarly, after in the second say here also shall, will, can, may, might, must, ought to, need to, use to, dare is here. So uh, after them also we use verb one. So before them, sorry, before not them, not between them, between shall and verb one, or between will and verb one, between can and verb one, between may and verb one. So another thing cannot be is M R was where verb two, verb three, verb four. Of five cannot be used. That is why this zero form of the B is used. Sometimes B is also called the zero verb in English, right? So this is the case. Either it is uh, in the case of auxiliary plus two plus verb one or modal verbs. Anyone shall, should, will, would, can, could, may, might, must be. So out after them, two, uh, two B or shall be, will be, can be, and verb one will be changed automatically into verb three. In this way, we change. Okay, now let us go further. Uh, some more rules now we are going to learn. Some more rules in active and passive. So, uh, if we have imperative sentence, Bob plus object. So, imperative and here is also duty again another imperative. Late and another imperative you will find. Uh, so, in, uh, in number one, number two, and number three, you should not confuse. So, imperative generally give order. So, if they are ordering sentence. Right, so imperative, uh, purely imperative. They are so uh, the nature of imperative is to order. If the sentence orders, uh, so in that case uh, we use let at the beginning, and we bring the same object of the passive here. And as I told you, 
also here is only bob so bob means uh, starting with bob means it starts with bob one so it will be b and bob three will be there so stop the war let the war be stopped in the same way bob plus object but if it is the structure is same but if it has a different function if it functions of the duty like uh, obey your parents is here pay the tax right uh, respect your na nation like that when the matter of the duty comes then then we use uh, should be right so at first we bring the object at the beginning uh, so uh, your parents obey your parents or your parents your object so your parents and we use should be that is in the formula for duty should be and bob three and if we have the agent then we may use right so uh, should be of it so your parents should be of it pay the tax tax should be paid so let us see another type of the imperative sentence that is late and subject verb and object this type of uh, this type of uh, imperative also we find for example let her play of uh, football so let her play football her is here it seems like object but it functions like subject right so playing person is uh, playing person is her means she here so though though uh, objective case has been used but it it functions as subject here in such sentence that is why uh, it will be changed into late and that uh, uh, object comes uh, this object comes to subject and this uh, this uh, subject goes to object and other things are uh, will will be plus bar, b plus bar three so let plus object plus b plus bar three and by of uh, by plus object in this way we use so let her play football so let object is the football and b in the formula and bar three of play is played and this r becomes by her in this way we make and another type of the sentence also is sometimes five especially this four number of the sentence we find in operative sentence that what we say uh, if you are from uh, india or nepal uh, then we say it's hard uh, work here uh, right uh, so in english we say operative sentence in operative sentence uh, uh, generally they uh, do not uh, make question so if here is a question mark then it will be the question sentence but this is not question sentence this is ending in exclamation what is starting with me so in such case we again write make passive with uh, starting with me and may and for example may god help you so may an object we bring here and b and bob three and agent if necessary to oh, write then we may otherwise we do not so may may god help you so may you be help uh, may you be help means by god um, by mercy of god we generally understand so by god may be written or may not be written that is your option uh, both are possible so sometime agents are written and sometime agents are not written so both of them are accepted as correct so now we are going to learn another rule that is ask no question so if you have asked no question so in ask no question uh, we again our passive will be also ask no question so this is simple uh, you should not worry about the ask no question uh, so auxiliary to auxiliary but one thing the auxiliary according to the subject here will be here and according to the here auxiliary according to the object we have to use right so um, other things are same uh, and at last there will be question mark so are you eating rice so is rice being eaten so why means are you eating rice so so if we make this in sentence then it will be you are eating rice and rice is being eaten by you it will be there so by you has not been written here because uh, it is in the question sentence so it is not necessary it is big who is you so it is not clear so we do not write on clear very unclear uh, are the big objects in the passive uh, in the same way wh question is here or wh question at uh, very like the yes no question right so uh, here sometime double e sometime object may appear uh, in the uh, in the passive but sometime uh, object may not appear in the uh, in the passive uh, if uh, wh words has the meaning uh, sorry its answer is object then object may be missing in that case we do not find object uh, in other case we find object for example what are you eating so object is not here maybe rice or an apple 
uh, so uh, so uh, what is being eaten right so u has been has been missed missed here and sometimes we have object to uh, let us see other some examples here uh, when when do you read the book so when is the book read uh, by you is not necessary to say where are you painting these pictures where is the pictures being painted right where is the pictures uh, where is the picture is being painted so in this way we can make question and and finally we have another rule uh, people say believe a uh, thing that if our uh, active sentence starts with this then we we write it is uh, it with with it so we we it is we 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 make it is right so it is if share is say then said if it is believed then we make believe if it is think then we make thought in this way right so and other thing we do not sense for example people say that he is a thief so it is said that he is a thief or this may have been uh, made in passive by in another way by the foreigners this is he is said to be a thief so we we remove we don't hear this part and we just uh, make in this way also he is thought to be a so he is said to be we can bring this part at the middle as well uh, so both of them um, are used so which one do you find easier you can use in that way and another is uh, about the question wh question so who question so if we if we have who question so there are two rules to change who question one writing the who at the beginning and another one and by at the last and another is by whom writing at the beginning so if we write who at the beginning then other thing are your same but by will be at last but if you write by whom at the beginning then and other thing will be the same this b means auxiliary verb okay uh, that the state of b verbs like was where is a math so who uh, for example who prepared the meal who was the meal prepared by or by whom the meal was prepared so in this way uh, we can make passive let us see other rules so passive with double objects so this is the another thing uh, important thing in the while making active to passive so what we find here is some in some sentence we find double passive especially the sentence with take give ask pay and so if we find this verb in sentence then this sentence automatically carry two objects so in in such case we can make either of them as a subject right so we can make either of them as a subject uh, so but while making them as a subject of uh, passive there is a slight difference in their uh, use so what is there let us see here so so sub subject and verb and first object and second object it will be the condition of our sentence so our the condition of our passage will be first object if we bring the uh, out of these two object if we bring first object and our be verb will be there like was where is m r being been what what is appropriate according to the sentence that we certainly use and then second object comes immediately after the main verb or the verb three if we bring the first object but what happens if we bring the second object if we bring the second object then first object need to be joined with two uh, after the main verb that is the difference if we make your first the first object is the subject of passive we use second object immediately after verb three if we make second object as a uh, subject of the passive then we have to put a first object joining with two after the main verb so that is the difference between them let us see the uh, see the example she gave me a pen so this is a sentence she gave me a pen me is one object and a pen is another object so in that case i was given a pen by her so first has been taken here i was given an a pen this given after given verb three a pen has been put here this a pen has been put here immediately after as said in the said in the rule first object and b verb b verb is was and verb three given and the second object came here but in the according to the second rule a pen the second object has been brought here as a subject and was this is the b verb and verb three given and this first object is me so it has been made to me two plus a uh, first object here yeah, we do uh, so this is the case now let us see uh, another use that is uh, whenever we find is m r uh, or was where plus going to plus pop one so we should not make is going to be is being gone 
was going on should not be make so is mr plus going to or a or was where plus going to this is a structural part that is why we 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 have to this this two plus bar one and we have to make here two b plus bar three this is simple uh, he is going to make a house in Kathmandu so a house in Kathmandu is going to be made by him but we should not make a house in Kathmandu is being gone to build by him we should not make in this way uh, this is the case okay now we are in another rule that is adverbs in passive is generally placed before main verb. So adverbs may be added either in the beginning or the ending or sometime before the main verb, uh, right? Uh, but if we find before the main verb, it does not matter. But if the adverbs are, uh, these adverbs are either in the beginning of the sentence or the end of the sentence, then we have to bring them before the main verb in passive. Uh, that is the case she sang a song beautifully so we find here adverb beautifully uh, so this beautifully uh, has been changed here a uh, song was beautifully sung by her so uh, the verb three of s and z is s u n z uh, that is why this beautifully has been brought here before the man verb so the case of speaks english well well is here adverb so this english is spoken well by kiss of if we make this will be wrong because uh, English is well spoken we have to do because we have to bring a uh, before Bob 3 or before the man Bob we have to place the uh, ad Okay, now fine uh, again another rule we are going to learn if we have kindly or please plus Bob 1 or done plus Bob 1 uh, In our uh, Structure then whenever we have to change into passive then which you change it into you are requested to or not request to if it is Bob 1 then you are requested to if it is done plus bob one then you are not requested to we do in this way for example bring please bring your back then you are requested to bring your back right so please bring your back uh, you are requested to bring your back please don't make a noise you are requested not to make a noise in the same way causative passive also we find in english so if we have the causative verb as you know i think uh, causatives there are three verbs make verb get verb and have verb in causative so if you find in that way so you have to use two uh, two you have to add two even though there is no two in the uh, active sentence uh, the hall so she made me uh, paint the wall she made me paint the wall so the wall was made to be painted here the wall was made to be painted by me one thing uh, one thing you have to add here too and another important thing is in almost all sentence in uh, active in passive we which we involve subject and object uh, subject and object but here we do not uh, inverse subject and object we involves we inverse agent in other non causative sentence all sentence all subjects are agent but in causative sentence only agents are agents but subjects are not agents that is why agent will go to the passive object not the subject subject will be removed in the causative passive so the wall was made to be painted by me so who is the person to paint the wall painting person is me so it has been by me not by her so I was made to paint the wall by her is impossible one thing and another thing is we add here to uh, the wall was made to be painted so we add here to after uh, the verb uh, causative verb uh, this causative verb and another one is we brought the agent here uh, not the subject here so that is all thank you watching for video Keep your response. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.